They are so terrified of you. But God says that is how it should be. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. God says they are so terrified of you. And that is why, that is how it should be. This word is coming to us from the book of Nehemiah chapter 2 and verse 10. The Bible says when Sanballat the Horonite and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. The gates of Jerusalem were burnt down, the walls had collapsed, and the people, the Jews, were living in reproach and shame, and it was okay. But when Nehemiah got up, that he was going to rebuild. He had not even started the work yet. He still just came to the governor to seek for the permission to rebuild the walls. Sambala, Tobiah, and Geshem, all the enemies of the Jews were terrified because one man stood up and God says, that's how it is supposed to be. You know why? Because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. The Bible says, if God be for you, then who can stand against you? If God be with you, then who can stand against you? What can be able to separate you from the love of God? Absolutely nothing. And of course, when they were terrified, when they were grieved, they were angry. They tried to mock at them. They tried to talk him down. They, they, they tried to ask, what, 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 what are these feeble Jews doing? Are they ready to sacrifice? We see this in Nehemiah chapter 4. Will they sacrifice? Will they finish what they started? And, and Tobiah said, even if a fox fall, climbs on it, it's going to fall. They, they, those were just talks to, to, to be able to, trying to scare Nehemiah. But Nehemiah came in the power of the Lord. Nehemiah understood that the God that was in him was greater than whoever guns up against him. So when they did that, he prayed and he he continued his work. Oh, they, 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 they planned and they conspired and they said they were going to stop him. They were going to attack when they least expected. Yes, it scared some of the Jews, but Nehemiah knew the God he carried. Nehemiah knew that having God with him was not just to save him, but it also made him dangerous. So dangerous that when God was with him in something, nothing would be able to stop him. Nothing would be able to slow him down. Nothing would be able to put an end to what God wants for him to do. I came today to tell someone, you are unstoppable. You are unchangeable. You cannot be stopped. You cannot be delayed. You cannot be stagnated because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. It doesn't matter how many of them gathered. As a matter of fact, they are terrified of you. Life was okay for them before you showed up. They were okay with the, with the walls burnt down. They were okay with the gates. They were okay when the people of God were living in reproach. They were okay when, they, when the people of God were living in shame and hiding. They were okay. But when one man showed up who knew who he was and whose he was, they became so terrified. When one man showed up who understood the plans of God for his life, they became so terrified. When ma one man showed up who knew the assignment of God and was ready to fulfill it, they became so terrified. They were okay with all of Israel being in, in, in shame. But when one man showed up, God said he, Jesus says he did not die just to save you. He died to make you dangerous. Yes, sweetheart, you are dangerous to the bones. You are dangerous. The devil trembles at your presence. The devil trembles. The problem is that you don't know the God you carry. You don't even know who you are. Talk less of who you are. If you knew, you won't be running away from witches. You won't be sh shaking because they, 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 they threatened you. When a witch looks at you and says, you will see. Look at them and say, before you finish saying that word, before the end of today, before I get to see what you are talking about, you will drop dead and they will run away. Because sometimes, 
I came to understand what makes the enemy to want to attack you is because they are afraid of you. So self-defense. Attack becomes their method of self-defense because they want to, oh, come on. He is like, he's going around like a roaring lion. He's going around like a roaring lion, looking for whom he can scare. But guess what? Guess who the real, he is like, but guess who the roaring lion is? Your father is the lion of the tribe of Judah. So he cannot scare you. He's just looking for a means to scare you. Looking for a means. That's why some of the people of Judah in, in, in Nehemiah chapter 4, they fell for the trap. But Nehemiah knew who he was and whose he was. So he didn't fall for that trap. He didn't fall for that trick. He didn't fall for that. He refused to bend to that. He refused to fall for that. He refused because he had an understanding, a deep understanding of the assignment of God for his life. And he had prayed. He didn't just get up and want to and, and went for, for ahead to do that. No, he prayed before doing it. He prayed before doing it. He prayed to God. As a matter of fact, the hand of God was upon him before he set out for that. The hand of God was upon him before he stepped out into that, into that venture. The hand of God was upon him. That's why he started by finding favor with kings. Yes, they are terrified. Because they can see the fire in your eyes and they can see the light from within you. The problem most often is that they can see it. But we can't see it. So they are terrified. But we don't know what we carry. We don't know who is in the inside of us. We don't know the God. Come on, they are terrified at you, but you are shaking and you are panicking. Sometimes the devil is like, oh, if only they knew. If only they knew that they were God. If only Eve knew that she was created in the image and in the likeness of God, she wouldn't have fallen for the deception of the devil. She wouldn't have eaten the fruit thinking she would be like God. That was, to, to her, it was a promotion, but the reality was it was a demotion. Oh, that's why the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. My people perish because we don't know. Oh, Psalms 82 tells us, he says, they go on in darkness because they know not. He says, ye are gods because ye are the sons of the, of the Most High. He says, but you shall die like men, men. Why? Because you know not. Because you just go on in darkness. You don't know who you are. You don't, you don't know who you were created to be. You don't know the truth of who you are. You don't know your identity in Christ. But you are dangerous, sweetheart. You are dangerous, honey. You are not just one man. No, no, no. You are not man. You are in a class of your own. Ha! Ah. You are in a class of your own. You are in a class of your own. You are not you are not equalized to men. That's why when men say there is a casting down, you are going to say there is a lifting up because you don't oh you don't operate according to the precepts of men. You don't operate according to the dictates of men. You operate ah, you are in a class of your own. You are in a class of your own. You are untouchable, you are unchangeable. You you no 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 nothing can can harm you. Did you hear what God said? What Jesus said? He says to all that believe, not to, not to pastors all, to all that believe, to them that believe. He says you shall, you, you, you shall eat poisonous substances and they will not be able to harm you. You shall step on, you, you shall step on, on, on scorpions and serpents and they will not do you anything. What kills men? <laughs> oh, Lazo Branda Larusha Kaliana Lassiana. Come on, who am I talking to? You 
feast on what kills men. You feast on poisonous substances. Why do, people, why do Christians eat poison and they die? Because they know not. The Bible tells us in the book of Acts, Apostle Paul comes into this city and they, he, they, they, they had him, they, he was on his way to Rome. They were carrying him, transporting him there from prison as a matter of fact. And he enters into this place. The ship had an issue and they end up in this island and he gathers firewood to make a fire and a poisonous serpent bites him. <laughs> and the people are like, this guy is a sinner. There is something wrong with this guy. The gods are angry with him. And guess what happened? They were looking and expecting him to die. And he just shook off the serpent. Guess who died? Oh, he didn't even have any. The venom was inconsequential in his system. But who died was the serpent that, 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 that had him bitten. The serpent couldn't bear it. The serpent tampered with the wrong blood. You have blood is bigger. Your, your blood is bitter, sorry. Your blood is too bitter. The serpent can't handle it. The serpent died. The serpent died. The serpent that got him died. The serpent died. And the people said, this is a God among us. And they wanted to enthrone him. They started to worship him. They wanted to worship him. They said, no, this man is a God. Yes, and they were right. Because ye are God and ye are the sons of the Most High. The serpent beat him and he didn't know. He thought it was just an ordinary man. The serpent beat him and he died. You are dangerous to the bone. You are dangerous to the bone. You just don't know it. So he takes advantage of your ignorance. You are dangerous to the bone. That's what they don't know. They attack you because they don't know. And some attack you because they know and they want to see if you know. You've got to know that. When the enemy comes at you, know it is out of fear. To them, it is just a method of self-defense. It's just a method of self-defense. You are bad to the bones. Never forget that. Always remember that they are terrified of you. And guess what? God says that's how it should be. Never forget that. Never you forget that. Tell, show me the attacks coming at you and I'll tell you how bad you are, how dangerous you are. I hope this word reaches the right person at the right time. And if it was, if this word was indeed a blessing to you, then please just cast an offering. If you were blessed by it, give, put an offering, drop a seed. Sponsor, choose to be a partner to this ministry. Choose to be the reason why another person hears this word. And God will bless you amazingly. God bless you. Shalom.